Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel I like to walk you very fine line between a shopping addictive makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, dual chromes, multi-chromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except for glitter and today I want to try out the new Amy Love, well new-ish, the Amy Loves collection with Adept Cosmetics. So if that sounds like something you're interested in stick with me we're getting into it right now. So the thing that I was most interested in of course was the eyeshadow palette and you can see the like super beautiful gold sparkle here it seems to have like some red teal maybe some black glitters in there as well um, which is kind of interesting because that gives it a very sort of like warm tone on the outside um, but then the inside of course is super cool toned and this is very very appealing this is what I was so down for and so when I saw the sneak previewed I was like yep yep gonna buy it just let me know when and where and I'm there and so I did go ahead and pick that up at launch I was debating on picking up the blush palette because like do I need a blush palette no but do I need the eyeshadow palette technically still no <laughs> so I went ahead and got both um and they had a bundle which you could use um discount codes but not on the bundle because the bundle was already discounted which was fine by me so I did go ahead and pick up both of those because the highlights looked really pretty and excited to give those a try as well. I was just getting a magnet out to check on Mocha and Billy and Much because those two shades look so similar I was like are you sure those are not the same exact shade but allegedly they are not because they are labeled differently. Anyway all right let's get out some brushes. I did go ahead and throw on the eye base from Beauty Bay. So I'm gonna go in with Mia Moore first, which is the sort of slate blue shade. Blending out nicely as I would expect. I'm gonna go into Scrunchy next, which looks like a blue, like a blue based black or a blue gray blue based deep gray although on the lid it's looking rather soft yeah so you're definitely not gonna get like a full smoked out like black but I think it does look pretty nice anyway just going in and blending those out again so I'm just rubbing a little bit of glitter glue onto the lids. And then I want to put lights up on the lids, which is the top left corner shade. It's got like some iridescent blue sparkles in it on kind of a champagne light base. That looks really pretty. And then I'm going to blend that into a little bit of Vibes, which is the sort of metallic gunmetally silver. To kind of pick up a little bit of depth in the corner. Lower lash line I'm going to take some more of scrunchy which is that deep blue gray. I'm going to take a little bit of stunning which is the sort of powdery blue silver shade. All right and then I'm going to line my I'm going to throw in my waterline and on my upper lash line Sabbath from Urban Decay. This is <laughs> this is all I have left. Well I do have another one sitting in my drawer but I'm going to throw some of the Omni Lash Mascara from Len Bunny on, although this is not my favorite just because I haven't unpacked my makeup bag yet. Alright, and so this is the finished eye look. I do think it came out nice. It's very like softly blown out kind of slate blue gray in tone, which I think looks really pretty. It reminds me a lot of the old Scott Barnes palette or the um, Teddy Bear palette. Who was that from? Lottie Lemon? No, I don't remember who the teddy bear palette was from, but it was in like all the subscription boxes for a minute. But anyway, I do think, no, Teddy Boy, not Teddy Bear. Good Lord. I think this is a really pretty eye look. I think the color story somewhat mimics some of the other cooler toned um, eyeshadow palettes that have come before it. And I'll try to pop up some pictures so you know which ones I'm thinking of because I cannot for the life of me think of their names at the moment. Um, but I do think this is really pretty. Let's pop into a blush territory. Now for blush and highlight, we have like a more 
insane highlight and then a more subdued highlight. So like for blush and highlight, we have two options for each, right? I have a more pink tone blush and then like a muted kind of corally red. And then we have this kind of salmony pink highlighter and then this really sparkly kind of dual chrome highlighter. I think I want to put this one on my inner corner, this one on my cheeks. And then I think I'm going to use this blush. So going in just a little bit to the Cupid shade here. It's pretty. I'm going to grab Athena, which is the kind of softer highlight here. Some under the brows. Oh, I like that. I think I think the pink in the inner corner really adds like a different dimension to what was already there, making it a little less monochromatic. So I think that looks really pretty and it ties in the blush a little better too. All right, let's back up and talk quickly about these two new products. So in terms of the palette, I do like it so far. Definitely want to keep playing with it, obviously. The shades I used, this occasion, this one here, this one here, this one here. I used this one and that one. So obviously I haven't used the entire palette yet. Definitely want to play around with it a little more, but I do think the look that I put together came out quite nice. And Adept has great quality. Um, so for me, I already knew the quality was going to be there. It was just a matter of whether or not I like the color story. And then as far as the flush palette, I definitely think this is more subdued on the cheeks than what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting it to be like really, really bright and intense. Um, and I'm glad it's a little bit softer. I think the sort of brightness of this one makes this one look even more intense to me just in the pan. I like this for an inner corner, although for an actual highlighter, it may be a little bit too glittery for me. Um, but I do think this one is a very nice, soft, kind of salmon-y duochrome highlighter. So overall, I think this was a great pickup too. The two of these together, I think were about 70-ish dollars or so. So not cheap, um, but definitely think they are good quality and looking forward to playing with them some more. And with that said, that is everything for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.